Hello everyone. So in this video, I thought I'll probably share uh, my experience of using uh, include feature in uh, Emacs. Now, just to give you some background, if you are new to my channel or if you have uh, just started following me, I use org mode for uh, doing a lot of publishing. And when it comes, comes to publishing, it is not just publishing uh, HTML or it is not just uh, creating uh, PDF files, but I also create uh, presentations using uh, org mode. And, and the way I work is, let us say, uh, and, and, and again, trying to give you some background so you can uh, hopefully relate to it. So I am a consultant as part of my day work, day job. I run this company called Sparksys where we provide uh, Atlassian services. And uh, when it comes to Atlassian services, I also provide uh, not only not only services where uh, I provide consultation, but training is also part of it. And when it comes to training, it could be a classroom training, it could be an online training, it could be uh, just some coaching. And when it comes to training, I need some material, I need some sometimes like, like some supporting document. So I use this uh, file to create uh, a presentation like from the same file. Now I use the same file to also create uh, like a document. It could be a PDF file, it could be a normal HTML. And uh, at the same time, I not only provide training on just one topic, I provide training on multiple topics. And usually these topics are linked to each other. For example, in this particular case, this particular file is uh, basically my outline slash book slash uh, material for Jira software. So in case you want to learn Jira, I can train you. But uh, there are certain elements that will be repeated in each and every uh, course of mine, in each and every book of mine. And uh, in this case, if I show you this particular uh, book or this particular file or file, uh, it starts with this uh, about us. And this about us is basically something that I repeat every time in all of my book. But I don't really want this about us to be there in, I mean, the good thing about our mode is that you can actually hide, or you can actually select here, uh, or you can actually mention this tag on top called let us say no export. So whenever there is a tag called uh, no export, this particular header, the entire uh, header will not be will not be um, exported. Come on, I'm just trying to uh, reduce the size. All right. So, uh, so now there is a tag called no export. And if I don't really want this uh, header to be exported to one of my format, uh, let us say a presentation, I can choose to uh, not include it, or I can only include selected tax, which that is also a possibility. But the thing is that about us is basically another file. Similarly, this particular header called guide to start your Atlassian career. And then of course, this uh, course objective where I can have some notes. And the good thing about these notes is that these notes will appear in PDF, but it will not appear in uh, my org file or not not org file, but my org reveal presentation. And uh, similarly, some of the elements will be repeated. And I think it has been working really nicely for me. For example, this particular Jira fundamentals section, it is like a huge section that I repeat in all of my books. And uh, uh, this is something that works really nicely uh, because uh, I don't really want to have like 10 different copies of the same content. And, and you can imagine it's a pain to manage. So I think, although it has been working nicely for me, there are certain things that were not massively clear to me how I would manage those uh, things in the beginning. For example, if you, inc if you include something like another file, it will include everything. But good thing is that you can also tell your include to uh, miss or skip, let us say the top 11 lines. So this is also a great thing because I don't really want my header to be included. At the same time, one great thing about this feature is that you can also include only specific sections. So if you have these uh, headers, each and every header can have uh, like a special ID, like a custom ID. And you can also include only those uh, specific uh, 
sections or headers and that is something that I do a lot because uh, sometimes I want to include but not really the entire file but only a specific section. So the, so the thing is that with this approach of include, with this uh, strategy of in using include feature in org mode, um, I think I've become really efficient and uh, <clears throat> imagine that you have a big book or like a lot of things to like, like, like a big file content to manage and you just you, you don't really have just one file but multiple files a as an author as a publisher or am i not really a publisher publisher but uh, someone who is doing a lot of uh, document production <clears throat> if you're using these features then you will be super uh, happy and this is true especially for people who are uh, let us say doing phd and they have to maintain uh, or write their thesis and uh, I'm sure uh, most of them, or some of them, I guess, are hopefully using LaTeX. I don't really use LaTeX a lot, uh, like directly. I use it along with org mode. But uh, if you're using org mode, the organization itself of these different nodes, different files that will sit in different uh, directories, it can be super easy. You just need to spend some time in the beginning to make it work for you. And uh, hopefully I've given you some ideas from my org mode videos and uh, <clears throat> and and this is something that I think I've been using quite nicely it has been working nicely for me I think it has been like I think one year now since I started using this include feature and ever since I started using this feature I actually uh, split my big files into smaller like chunks so if I show you my let me just show you my books directory so these are all the books that i have but not all of them are individual books some of them are just you know some things or some topics that i want to include or i want to manage centrally but you can see here that these th this is my entire directory where i manage my different books for example if i have to include if i have to talk about uh, jira fundamentals so jira fundamentals will sit in its own uh, uh, in its own uh, file right and I can then uh, include it wherever I want. If I have to talk about uh, Jira best practices, there is a separate uh, file for it, and so on. And uh, this, this I think is uh, is something that I'm quite uh, happy with. And I think uh, you should also think about using include feature. I was not really using this feature for a long time, but uh, I think it was only last year, sometime last year, when I reached a point where I had to find a way to include uh, content from other files because I was doing too much uh, repetition of the same section. For example, if I'm writing a book or doing a presentation, every time I have to, let us say, present something, let us say if I'm doing a talk and I have to talk about my company, I was basically writing the same content over and over again or basically copying or pasting it, which I don't like. but include feature will definitely help you in case you are struggling with something similar. All right, that is it. That is all for today. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new. Thank you very much. Bye bye.